Okay, flavor of the month. Brooke from Springville wants to create a new dish during the Windbloom Festival. Brooke's a she? Wait, what? Why isn't... Wait, okay, again. Why isn't he here yet? Hmm, what's the matter? Oh, you're, uh, I remember you. You're Shangling's ass <laughs> assistant, right? The memories of our culinary duel are still fresh in my mind. I may have lost her the last time, but this time I will create a dish that has the taste of the wind, then I'll take it and ask her for a rematch. I especially commissioned an adventure to help me go to Dragon's Pond and, and obtain some chilled meat for this dish. However, that adventure, Scuster, Scuster was his name, I think has yet to return. I've heard that Dragon's Pine is a very dangerous place. I wonder if he might have run into some trouble. Could you help me search for him? I could do that, no problem. Thanks for your willingness to help. Make sure you to light some fires to keep warm. Dragon's Pine is very cold, after all. Hmm. Yeah, alright. Oh, damn, the sound was too low, I guess. Well, anyways, um, the Boar King was that, that place, so, uh, what place is that, though? Well, I don't know. Um, mm. Oh, yeah. Terrified sh- oh, damn. Oh, cold, why is it so- no, you don't have a fire. Can someone please help me make fire? <sighs> oh my god. Well, okay. Terrified Shuster. I've been revived. You lit the fire. Th thank you, good-hearted traveler. Thank you. Are you all right? A little, a little warmer. That's for sure. I'll be fine. I, er I, I was originally commissioned to come here to obtain some chilled meat. I started out trying to look for some on the outskirts of Dragon's Pine, but I, w but as I walk. I misplaced my tinder, and that was before I also got lost by mistake, damn. If you hadn't arrived, I don't know what I would have done. You have my thanks. So what are you going to do about Brooke's commission? Ah, so Brooke sent you to find me, huh? She must have be beside herself by now. I, ima <laughs> I imagine, but as it stands, I haven't the energy to travel all the way to give her this meat. Ah, uh, okay, so you want me to hand it out for her? I'm sorry to ask you this, traveler, but can you, could you help me tr deliver this chilled meat to her? You can count on me. Yeah, sure. Thank you so much. As for me, I need to head out down that campsite in the foothills to get a bowl of hot <laughs> My tongue, what the fuck? Bowl of hot soup. Well, uh, yeah, um, flavor of the month. Uh, mm, yeah. Okay, talk to Brooke. Oh, you're back, back. Back with the meat, yes. Oh, that's great, wait, what about Sh Shuster? He isn't in trouble, is he? No, he should be right. That's good. It's good that nothing serious happened. Once I've finished this dish, I should bring him a serving too, I think. Picking of that, this chilled meat really is different from normal meat. Perhaps a dish made from it really will have that certain boom shaka. <laughs> boom shakalaka. Will have that certain boom shakalaka. Still, I think that... <laughs> oh no. So, yeah, you want me to give your... A dandelion seeds, again. We will be needed to make something that bears the taste of the wind. But if we only do that, I feel that the result wouldn't be much different from any normal meat-based cuisine. We need some sort of excessive condiment. I'm gonna take a guess. It would be like, um, wind will aster, I suppose. 
That's it. Right. <laughs> no. All right, that's it. In truth, I've actually met Shangling in a few more times since our contest, and I've heard about a dish known as mushroom slimes too from her. I've never used such strange and curious ingredients before, however. Amazing dishes require equally unique ingredients. Traveler. Mm. Traveler, um, if I might trouble you again, could you help me? <laughs> no. Slime condensate and some dandelion seeds? Yeah. As long as you're go going to give me that Prima gems, though. Great, I'm counting on you, then I'll continue to ponder my recipe here. Yeah. Okay, talk to Brooke. Yeah, I've got him. Um, the d what is this? <laughs> oh no, slime condensate? Uh, what? Uh, yeah. Wonderful, now we can truly begin. Thank you so much. With this chilled meat and these two ingredients, I will surely be able to make a dish with true boom shackle. <laughs> no. Ah, yes, here's something. Take it as thanks for your help. Yeah. Well, anyways, thanks. Thanks to that. Um, 20 Prima Gems and two purple books, though. Mm, okay. Get quest. Wind brew. Margaret from the cat's tail seems to be planned something. Uh, yeah. Wind Good brew. things come to those who don't wait around. That's what they say, anyway. Though in my luck, the opposite is probably true for me. Yeah, I know. I know the phrases. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, talk to, uh, Margaret. Uh, yeah. Margaret. Oh, yeah. Was she holding a cat? It seems that... <laughs> no. It seems that... Okay. <laughs> again, again, again. Margaret. It seems that we must come with a new special blend after all. Something the matter? Oh, it's you. Actually, I was just considering pushing out a new bev new special beverages based on the Windbloom Festival. Everyone's going to have to be having fun in the city during this time. I'm sure that they wouldn't mind having some food and drink to go along with that. However, they'll they'll get drunk very so very quickly if they if all they drink is alcohol and they'll be liable to get pulled oh shit wait sorry <laughs> yeah okay they, they should do the trick and they'll be liable to get pulled aside by the knights until they've sobered up also it'll ruin the mood if they seek if they if the reek of alcohol is too strong huh is that so well, I've heard that some people really enjoy that sort of hazy, drunken atmosphere, but falling over drunk by the roadside during festival isn't a good look. As such, I've decided to create a refreshing non-alcoholic drink that's milk-based, ba milk no, and filled with the flavor of the wind, no. Remember that those drunkards are lactose intolerant, remember that. To emphasize the flavor of the wind, I, I think that we could also use two special additions. Uh, wind will asters and dandelions. But we'll be here all day if I'm all, I'm the only one going around collecting them. So Traveler, could you help me collect some accessory ingredients? I'll get you those wind will asters. Yeah. I'm counting on you then. Wind will asters of wind rice are off rather fine quality so pr please try collecting some there i'll go collecting the line seeds from my part and we'll be back here once we're done collecting our respective ingredients we'll make the drink right on the spot and get a few people to try it out while we're at it yeah anyways give it to her go to wind rice <laughs> oh shit Damn. Okay. 
Oh yeah, by the way, um, about the next video I'm going to be doing is that um, I'm going to be um, finishing up Adventure Rank Ascension 4, um, Equivalent Exchange, and The Ocean Pearl, these three, since <laughs> it's been like here for like ages, <laughs> you know. So yeah, uh, I've really wanted to, um, you know, clear up my story, story like um, this. I want this to, to be clean. And yeah, the ocean pearl has been here for like um, a month. So yeah, you know what it is. Okay, defeat all the um, opponents. Wait, what? Them. Oh sh Leave it all to me. As a dutiful maid will I must look. I'll catch up. Okay, uh pick up the wind wheel last her. Wait, what rather fine wind will last her? Mm, okay. Wind brew, report back to Margaret. Hmm. I wonder what location would it be if I choose that dandelion seed though. Hmm, interesting. Okay, Margaret. Uh, yeah, have you found the ingredients? Yeah, I have all three of them. These are very, these are some very fine wind wheel aster. I wonder what flavors we'll achieve if we use the, these in our blend. Alright, looks like we've got all the ingredients we need. Let's start blending our beverages. I wonder how it'll taste. Oh, are you interested in trying it out too? Well, the blending process itself isn't particularly complicated. You just need to follow the steps I've come up with and it should be a ringing success. So, you want to try making it yourself? Oh, sh- okay. Great, now let me explain the process of making these beverages. Make sure to- make sure you remember it. First, a fl sweet flour inside before pouring the base alcohol we're using for this cocktail, and then, of course, we'll drizzle some milk in the lay to the foundation for the clear, sweet texture we're going to, be, or <laughs> sweet texture we're going for this time around. We'll need to add the wind wheel aster in at this point too, add flavor. Don't rush to mix it all together. Let's sit for a moment and let floral fragrance, fragrance emerge. Then scatter the dandelion seed in to make the drink look like it's been adored with stars. Then take place with ice cubes in and that's a wrap. And that's how it works. That you can get the steps, steps mixed up if you want to make something delicious to have my tongue. I'm so sorry, guys. If you've memorized this step, give it a go. If you've forgotten, feel free to ask me again. Yeah, yeah. I know this. Okay, let's start the blending. Uh, let's begin. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, um... Uh, I think this should be like... Oh shit, wait. No, let it sit in. And next up, no. Pour milk in. And next up, sweet flour. Looks like we're almost done. Um, ice cubes. Um, next up, dandelion seeds. Let's sit. And, alright, that's that. Let's bring it to Margaret and let her give it a little taste. Wait, what? I think I've messed up. 
Special beverages. Oh, oh, shit. No, and we're done. Oh, I, I don't know. Mm. It tastes a little astrogen. The flavor don't seem to melt it together too well. Perhaps something went over Ari during the blending process. Mm, give it another. Oh, shit. Yeah. I, I messed up that one. Okay, so, yeah. Yeah, sweet flour, then milk. Sweet flour, then milk, then wind wheel, then sit. Oh! Then dandelion the seeds, then ice. Hmm. Wait, what? Uh. <laughs> Yo, uh, I've forgotten it again. Okay. Um. Sweet flour, um. Then milk. Oh shit. Then milk. Uh then wind will ask her. Then let it sit. And next up, place then the lion seed and ice cube. And ice cube. Okay. This should be the ro oh yeah, I know this. This is the right one. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. There's a slight sweetness to the piercing foretaste and there. Yo, the de the attention to detail. There's also a cooling texture like that of the flowing of breeze. A most fitting drink for the wind bloom festival. I see I made the right choice in bringing you on board. Yo. Next, I think this drink needs some taste testers, pra traveler. Could I trouble you to go out again to look for some? I see this done. I'll be relying on you then. I'll believe there'll be tons of people near the animal archon statue. You can probably find tasters there. Hmm. Talk to Nimrod. Wait, but why Nimrod though? Uh, yeah, Nimrod should be right there. Hey there, the cattails come up with a new beverage. <laughs> festival, <laughs> festival, no, festival just aren't complete without a little swig of drink. Oh, you want me to test it? Do you? Ha ha ha! No problem, not not at all. I'm an old hand when it comes to wine. Let me try it. Eh, this doesn't have any taste of alcohol at all. It's more like some sort of diary product. Don't get me wrong, it tasted good, but I don't think a non-alcoholic drink really fits this festival. I mean, there there are lots of people who are looking forward to getting reasonably dr drunk this Windblown festival. I don't think this sort of drink would have received particular warm, warm welcome. Hmm, kinda agree though. In a way, um, yeah, I've kind of agreed to him though. But, but still, it's an alternative than an alcohol, you know. Oh shit, Aramis. Okay. Hello, can I help you? Hey there, the cat still comes up to you. My apologies, but I'm only using a cat drink that this drink's not alcoholic. Oh well, then, I guess it'll be fine. I'm feeling a little thirsty in any case, so I'll give it a go. This is pretty good. It's refreshing too. Really perks you right up. This is a new product from Cat's Tales, right? I'll go have another taste later when I can spare the time. Hmm. Okay, so some... One, one guy doesn't like it, and one guy likes it. The last one should be like... I will make my comeback! Wait, what? Hmm? Yeah, wow. You wanna play with me? Hey there, the cat's tails come up with the new beverages. The cat's tail, Auntie Gray, says that kids uh, shouldn't drink wine. Oh, this one, uh, this one's got no wine. No, why, why am I thinking such fucking... 
Why am I thinking such weird shits, man? Oh, this this one's got it says to the fucking traveler criminal. That's the one. Really, I'll give it a try. It's really nice, it's sweet, and it's cool. It's this new drink from the cat's tail. I'll tell Timmy and Lily too. Uh, I'm sure they'll like some. Okay, Margaret. Wow. Wow. Just, just wow. How did it go? Were you able to find some taste testers? Well, I found some, all right. Traveler describes people's reaction after they drink some from Margaret's drink. Getting reasonably drunk during festival, huh? No wonder the crowd at the Angel Share has grown. Still, I think this is fun, other than those who like... Yeah, because not all people on Monst Monstad are drunkards, you know? Oh fuck, I forgot to read. I'll continue tweaking this blend, special blend. Thanks to your help, by the way. And here's a little something as thanks. Ah uh, yes, happy Windbloom Festival yet again. So, uh, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it. For this video, since... Um... Act 2, all of Act 2, Message, Cloud and Fog, this part, this is finished, and yeah, Act 3 is coming right up tomorrow, yeah, you know what it is, I, ha I, I gotta be prepared for that, and yeah, so yeah, that's pretty much it, um, stay tuned for the next video, that is, I'm going to be Finishing up these Adventure Rank Ascension 4, Equivalent Exchange, and the Ocean Pearl. So, uh, yeah, um, I think I've said the things that I've said. Uh, hmm. Hopefully, guys, you enjoyed. Um, be sure to... Be sure to... <laughs> I forgot the things that I've said, man. Okay, be sure to like... The and subscribe if you like the video so uh, yeah anyways thanks for watching and you know what i'm out <laughs>